Hello, welcome to CapTech. In this edition, we're going to show you how to take the Google KML file we previously created and uploaded Wimmers and download it, and then import it into ForeFlight. This works best for your mission scanners and mission observers and mission pilots to help them take those files and plan their mission. Step one in this process is to log into Wimmers and select the mission where the KML file has been uploaded. Once we get in there, we're going to select our mission files here at the top. This window will appear, and from here you can go to the file that has your KML file in it. Once we've found the file, we simply click on it. So far, it will bring up this window and ask us how we want to open it. If it doesn't default to Four Flight, you can select More and then select Four Flight. Or if you don't have a Four Flight subscription, if you download Google Earth, which is a free app, you can also download, you can also import the file into Google Earth and help plan that way as well. I'm going to select Open in Four Flight. It's going to open Four Flight and ask me how I want to import the file. There are two options. There's a user map layer or user waypoints. Both have advantages and disadvantages to them. So we'll go through both and you can decide which one works best for you. First, I'm going to import as a map layer. Once it's imported, I can go to the main drop-down menu. And if you look at the bottom here, there's the KML file at the bottom imported. And I can now turn it on and off as an overlay, just like you do any of the other ones, your winds, your temperature, your dew point, your visibility, whatever. If I select it, it now brings up the waypoints that were in the file. Super. And if I want to plan it, I have my starting airport there, so already selected. Then I can go and select the waypoint there by tapping on it once and select Add to Route. And it'll simply add it to my route. Other things I can do as well is turn off my sectional map, turn on my aerial view map, and zoom in on the target to get a better idea of maybe what it is. In this case, it looks to be a water treatment plant is what they want me to go take a photograph of. Another great tool. The problem with this is whenever you have the overlay on, you're gonna see every single target. So if there were multiple targets in there, you may not want to see all of them. You may only wanna see a few. If that's the case, what we can do again, if we zoom back out, We can now go back to Safari. I will select Open in ForeFlight again. ForeFlight is going to ask me again, do I want a user map layer or a user waypoint? This time I'm going to import as a user waypoint. And it's been imported. Now what I can do is if I turn off this layer, And select user waypoints here, it will turn on my user waypoints again. There they are again. This is slightly different. Now the only thing I will see is, is the waypoints that I have selected. So I can add these to my route. You'll notice there's also the description we can view now which we previously could not view. Hit add to route on that. And continue it. If we look down here at this one again, Zoom in again on this one. Let's move that off to the. There's the waypoint right there. It's a lot easier to select. We can also get the details from here, and it'll give you the description at the bottom as well. This one's a little bit more useful because it'll give us the description that was input input earlier. So that way we can answer the questions better. Also, if you select more and go to your user waypoints, you'll see it also imported the user waypoints here with the questions as well. So we can select on this one and it's going to give me the name and then the description which is where the, uh, the, the questions that we need to answer for the customer are. It's a great tool. We can also delete it or click show on map and it'll snap to wherever it is on the map as well if that was one we were targeted against. We can also zoom in of course and get an idea what the target is. This basically eliminates the need for the pieces of paper that we carry around in the cockpit. Everybody can have it on their iPad. The same thing you see here, you can also do in Google Earth as well. That is a free app, and you can do that. The only difference is you won't be able to create a flight plan like we do in for flight. So it won't have all those extra features. But you can still load the targets, look at them, 
see the descriptions just like we did on the computer. I hope this helps you in your mission. It's a very useful tool. My unit has used it quite a bit. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you have any good ideas, post them there too. I'm always looking for new and better ways of doing things. Thanks for watching.